what was your experience as a candidate? Like what, I guess, what, what did you expect that you saw happen? And then what didn't you expect that Mm -hmm. happened to you as a candidate? Yeah. At first I was quite scared. Mm -hmm. I mean, being 17, when I first started knocking on doors and campaigning for myself, I was fully expecting to feel a lot more kind of pushback and people Mm -hmm. being like, oh, well, you're so young, you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. What makes you think that you have any right to do this? Mm -hmm. Um, But what I found was quite in fact the opposite in the majority of cases. When I would knock on a door and somebody would see me, I'd hand them my push card. I'd be like, hi, my name's Caitlin. I'm running to be your state representative. What are the issues that matter to you? And some people told me that they've never had a politician come knock on their door and ask them what they, the voter, care about which I wasn't, you know, shocked by that, but it did sadden me. I was like, wow, we have all these people in our state house, in our state Mm -hmm. Senate, in the Capitol in Helena, who are serving and supposedly representing these people who they've never even gone and talked to them to see what the actual dining table issues that people are facing are. And I would say another one of the things that I was kind of expecting to happen but didn't was people bringing up more of these, like, hot button political social issues that really really affected them well, like, like the majority of people don't gather around and talk about abortion every day yeah and f- yeah i mean that's crazy More for odd. us to think about uh-huh. but um most people would just be like yeah gas you know, gas property Inflation. taxes yeah. all of that kind of stuff and i was like wait these are actual real problems that real people are facing and there's real people that are supposed to be helping them solve the problems that aren't mm. and but i also did find um that, you know, a lot of people do care about life. And Mm -hmm. a lot of people, I would come to a yard and a lot of the times they would ask me, so what do you think about abortion? Or what do you, Mm -hmm. what is your opinion on this? And I would say, you know, there's some candidates that like to shy away from the issue. They like to be like, oh, well, I guess that I'm pro-life, but, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, maybe that's a little extreme. So, you know, maybe I won't be, you know, maybe I'm not pro-life, but no, I was 100% pro-life with every door that I knocked on that wanted to know Mm -hmm. what my stance on the abortion issue was. And I found that there are a lot of strong pro-life voices in Montana who are like, yes, I'm going to vote for you because you're pro-life. And so that was also something that I found that was, it made me so happy, obviously, to just see people um, be able to say, you know, I'm pro-life and I'm proud of it um, and be able to, you know, especially find a sense of community in that because you know, knocking on doors is not the most friendly activity. No, a lot it's of not. The time. I really, I really don't enjoy. It. I think people think I enjoy it. I'm like, after the first like five, you get kind of like in a groove. You know, mm-hmm. I tell students like, do first couple ones are gonna be hard, but then you kind of like you kind of get mm-hmm. used to it. Uh, but it's not like the easiest thing. I, I mm-hmm. there's, I mean, maybe Titus at Students Life Action. He, he, I think he really likes it. But most of us are like, we know we have to do it. You know, and that's why we do it. Mm-hmm.